Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Finally, this is a guide video for the latest class, the Visionaire class. Now, something I should let you guys know before we go too in depth into this video, it might not be a perfect guide video as I have never actually said any of my guide videos are perfect. There might be some mistakes. If you find out any mistake in this video, you are free to correct me in the comment section down below as long as you view your correction as accurate guys please don't put misinformation there <laughs> anyway without wasting too much time let's get right into the video we got to talk about the visionary class the visionary class is the latest class which uses uh it's a magic attack class yeah it's kind of like a game i see the keyboard right there and the second mode has a freaking gun and you also notice that my dress changed this is what i'm wearing right now a skirt and once i change back i'm wearing this this is kind of like a bug that is in the update i don't know if they will fix it before it's released for uc players or if they have fixed it in global but some say they have fixed it that once you switch away from the visionary class your everything will be rectified so how i actually got that to work is or how you can get this to work this bug to work is just whatever clothes you're wearing let's say i'm actually the reaper right now and i'm using this clothing all you gotta do is just switch to the visionaire class and after you switch to the visionaire class go to your wardrobe and pick any other clothing you want and once you've done that just save the image and for your normal mode you will be with your new clothing and once you tap this last skill up here you will switch to the clothing you were wearing in the previous class yeah it's kind of funny <laughs> Now, the first thing we're going to talk about in this video is the strengths and weaknesses of this class. Of course, the most popular strength of this visionary class is the damage. It is insane. And to prove that single point, let's just check out one skill here. This is Suppression. It is an 18 second skill that has 21 million damage with my current magic attack of 502,000, which is really nothing to write home about compared to other players. As you can see, I'm ranked 307 in my server. So my damage definitely will not be it's not in the top of my server so other players can have as high as let's say 29 or even 30 million damage or so and that's quite crazy even with me having 56 million health that is almost half my entire hp with one skill that has i think how many seconds 18 seconds cooldown let's use it 16 seconds cooldown so that is really op guys you, you gotta watch out for that and now other things to take note about the strengths of this class is it is kind of like a mid to long range attacker mid range because you see this uh, let's use this other skill yeah once i use this this is mid range see the circle around my player that's mid range it can teleport this is a mobile class very mobile to be honest and um, another thing is it has a lot of controls pretty crazy this skill that i just used right now can actually stun and drag whatever opponent it gets like it catches in that skill it's not just that it also has bleeds with this skill uh, the class has a lot of strong points guys <laughs> now the weaknesses of this class um the first thing we want to talk about the weakness is it doesn't really have much um defense let's just say it's quite open to damage unlike the blade master that has the void and um, the reaper that can undo damage so that says that can heal the phantom sounds can heal the illusionists have their um op damage and control in a way i guess so this is kind of like the illusionist or the difference between this and illusionist is the fact that illusionist can go invisible while this one can only teleport the illusionist can both go in this one teleport but it more than makes up for this weakness with its control ability see that <laughs> it just died without even getting close to me so that is the weakness of this class one of the classes that you will have um, a tough time fighting when using this class will be probably the blade master it depends if you can stun the blade master properly you can wipe them up if you use the right ex the right talents you can instantly wipe them but facing your fellow um, vision here is gonna be quite tough um, just because of the damage especially if they have quite the rating against you you probably will die a lot it just turns into a game of who can stun the order first so if you just stun the opponent first and deal as much damage as you can so in, in long way it's just going to be a boring fight once it's visionary versus visionary sometimes <laughs> Start for this class since it's a magic class uh quite simple and um, first it deals with magic attack you gotta increase that next you want to increase your critical level and your ammo penetration level these two are very important 
AP level and critical level are very important for this class. Then finally, you want to average your multi strike and your defenses, your physical and magic defenses. You want to average that. If you have a lot of defenses, it's, it's pretty cool, but you can see from the damage this class can deal. I don't think defenses will matter that much in the long run. So you want to have all this. Finally, CDR. CDR doesn't really work for the vision here as you would think it works for other class. Let me let me give you guys an example. Um, let's use one skew right now. Let's say I use um, this one. 16 seconds you see so that's 16 seconds cooldown right so let's use a an ex vortex that immediately reduces your skills cooldown 16 seconds cooldown and now i use vortex nothing it doesn't affect your um, skill cooldown what this actually affects is um if you the more cdr you have it the more effect it will have on your other skill one of your skill called source code so every time you use this fourth skill like once i tap it right now and I've switched to my machine gun mode, the damage ideal is going to be increased thanks to source code. And once I tap that other one again to go back to this mode, the damage I receive is going to be reduced as well. And the first is the usual DPS call, which is your 9 fire and your 5 wind and your 2 water. 9 fire for attack, 5 wind for critical and 2 water for more ammo penetration. You could switch this around and say 9 wind, 5 fire and 2 water or you can always interchange that um, 5 gem whether it's wind or fire that's 5 you can always interchange that for water to increase your ammo penetration depending on what you actually feel like you need. So that's those are the calls for this class you should know about this is the talent of this class is quite different from many other classes in the sense that these talents are dependent on not just your ex they are also dependent on your dragon you have to be careful the dragon you use and the ex we use will determine the talent you use now there are three talents basically that we tell you guys for this class the first is one verse ones and the second is pve now first we'll start with the one verse ones the one verse one this is the talent i think this is one of the talent for the one v one v one we have explosive command as your s level talent um explosive command deals with this your yellow skill here this one right here this first skill if we actually stop this cooldown of your opponents for two seconds that's what the s level talent i chose does now why did i choose this it's because there is a deep talent that you have let's go into the deep talent section Yes, I think this is it. Instant bumble, whatever. <laughs> There's a chance to refresh the CDR of explosive command instantly by 60%. So every time you use explosive command, that's the yellow skill, you have a 60% chance of resetting it and then you can use it again. Let's just see the damage explosive command deals. That's 2.7 million damage, 6 seconds cooldown. So let's try this and see how lucky we are. We did that and it has reset. We can do it again. We plan it again. And it has reset we can do that again do it again and it has reset we can keep doing this as long as we are lucky enough for it to reset and you see we've killed this monster with just one skill explosive command we used only explosive command within that lot now imagine if that monster was a player each of that time explosive command each of those time explosive command was thrown on that player their cooldown of their skill was stopped for two seconds and we were able to use it for about four seconds so that's two seconds times four seconds that's about eight seconds for eight seconds a player is unable to use a certain skill or ex if it is on cooldown that is how good this s level talent is and that's how i feel it is i will get to the other talent but let me just explain all this for the a level talent i used inertia gravity it increases the duration of dimension gravity by two seconds that's this your red skill right here the third one by two seconds normally it's six seconds but it becomes eight seconds after you use that i just use this because i want to go more on the controlling aspect with this build um but i will show you the other one the other one doesn't use inertia gravity but we'll get to that next for the b level talent we have unstoppable after releasing your fourth red skill critical damage critical is guaranteed so after using this skill now every skill we do for five seconds is going to be a critical hit so all of this our 21 million damage is going to be critical hit that means it can actually go as high or maybe it can go higher than 21 million i don't know but that is just a lot of damage every time for five seconds as long as we have that talent on us sorry about that guys i've been losing connection for so long that's one of the reasons i have delayed this guide and finally for the c level talent is overclocking 
After every release of Warp Speed Transition, the damage of your normal attacks, of three normal attacks in the other states, will be increased by 200%. What this means is um, once we switch to this form, and every time we teleport, there it is overclocking, normal attack damage increased by 200 during VR combat. You do it again, it's right up there. So every time we use this teleport, our normal attack damage is going to be increased by 200%, three normal attack damage. Now that is the talent for 1 vs 1 DPS, one of the talent. I, this also works in um, battlegrounds and stuff. I have tested this out in battlegrounds. I think I did the most with this build. So if you want to use this build, there is something else you should use than your um, dragon. Remember I said your talent is going to link up with your dragon and your EX. So if you want to use that build I just explained now, your dragon dragon you should use will be either Serpent Steel for purple, Wingless Owl. Now you want to use either one of these two, Serpent Steel or Wingless Owl. Wingless Owl to increase your critical damage and critical rate and um, Serpent Steel to reduce your opponent's defenses. So this is like a mini scorch EX and that one is like a damage boost EX. Then for your... Um, legendary dragons either leviathan to increase your dps because you see it it gives you a lot of damage when the shield is active so once you have leviathan on you and you use leviathan's shield can i use it right now yes this shield as long as this shield is on you for eight seconds your damage is going to be increased so this is going to be a huge damage boost for this class probably not as huge as using the purple um dragon what is his name wingless owl but it is quite a nice damage boost i think that is one of the dragons you will want to use another dragon you will want to use will be lord of the sky and wind it is a pretty good dragon in the sense that it gives you um, super armor although this class does have super armor you can have super armor for almost unlimitedly with this yellow form but it can be removed and you can be stunned getting stunned is one of the crazy weakness i forgot to mention for this class so just take note of that with the lot of the sky and wind you can have super armor and it can remove any stun that is on you so it's pretty good for getting out of a tight pinch especially against the illusionist or the blade masters now for the second um build change this s level talent from what is his name downtime jam to manipulation manipulation actually increases the damage boost and damage reduction of your source code remember what source code is remember what when i explained it now if you're gonna use this then you probably want to change your a level talent from this to engine riot when attacking there's a chance to increase your critical damage by 20 percent for 10 seconds this is insanely good if it procs Remember, yeah, it states there. It states there is a chance to increase your critical damage. It doesn't specify the percentage of chance. It can be anywhere from 50% to 70% to 30%. Heck, it could even be one or two percent chance to increase your critical damage. I haven't actually seen this proc. I haven't seen it up here at all. And I have attacked a lot and checked my buff. I haven't seen that once. But we don't know. I I don't know. I don't want to take chances with that. And that's why I use this for the other build. So anyway, moving on, for your B-level talent, you will want to keep um, this, but if you want to go different, I will suggest you use this weakness focus that actually bleeds, like increases the damage you deal to bleeding target and reduces the damage you receive from them. Uh, but if you use weakness focus, you definitely want to use the C-level talent sharp teeth that actually, um, whenever your second skill is used, and it actually deals damage to a monster or an opponent it will bleed them let's use this right here see the dog right there it's attacking the monster and the monster is losing health and bleeding it to death so whenever you um the dog deals damage to him uh, to an opponent the monster or opponent will start bleeding and losing health and the damage you deal to them will be increased while the damage they deal to you will be reduced now this is a bleeding build you don't necessarily have to use the c level talent sharp teeth there are various other ways you can circumnavigate around using that you could probably just stick to any of the other talents overclocking or centralized processing why i do not use this c level talent centralized processing is basically because you have to keep dealing damage to the same target for 10 seconds for this to proc i don't know about you but most of the deals with this class doesn't usually last more than 10 seconds i don't know if they last up to 10 seconds as well and if you don't want to use sharp teeth like i said you can ha um, change your dragon and use i think where is it hammer right yeah this one you can use hammer 
hammer is a purple dragon that actually inflicts bleed on your opponent now this bleed will count towards that particular talent that increases the damage you deal to any opponent that is being bled i'll keep talking even if i disconnect i'm tired of yeah, another option you can use is your seven sin you can change and use filth right i believe filth yeah filth seven sin puts a bleed on your target so whatever you use you can just remove that s that c level talent and put in filth or that other dragon and once the battle starts you can use the dragon skill or put the bleed aut automatically on them and then you can start attacking as much as you want and you will receive that passive from the b level talents that increases your damage dealt and reduces the damage you receive and that is basically it this is one of the build for pvp and this is the second build for pvp now for pve it's pretty much this one the only change you will want to make for this build in pve is that um, you will want to change probably if it is a single boss battle you will want to change the b level talent to weakness focus that increases the damage you deal to a target that's bleeding and then you probably will want to change the c level talent to this one so this will help you a lot more in pve and for pvp i think this one is a lot better now for the deep talent for one verse ones now there are some talents or deep talents you can take note of you can change this around depending on what you need if you need more crits you can go for this but i don't think five percent um, critical rate will be that big of an increase to, especially because there is this particular um, b level talent on unstoppable that guarantees you critically so anyway there are some certain talents you will want to take note of which is the functional disruption and another one will be dimension wall that can almost give you unlimited super armor then you can also have i think execution right execution these are the three top deep talents you will want to unlock for the other ones you can decide for yourself whichever one you like as for the pve the pve's deep talent is basically the same as the one verse one i don't see any um impact in having any of these for pve so i just use the same thing for pve now for the ex for ex i believe rhine is the best all around the board it increases your damage so this is pretty much useful for pvp and pve if you want to go defensive of course you can try using blood gift but i don't really see it as great compared to Ryan, I will have to experiment a little more, so don't take my word for it exactly. <laughs> now for the other EX, I think the one of the best is Minefield. It can remove your opponent's super ammo and help you to stun your opponent as much as you can with this class. So with Minefield, it's, it's definitely one of the top EX I will suggest. Another EX is Dust Buster for you to be a little more tanky and th this is pretty helpful. So Minefield, Dust Buster and now if you want to go a little more crazy with this class, you can try, try using Scotch. The low cooldown and the fact that it can actually reset itself, it's pretty helpful then you could also try royal fire i don't really suggest you go with those two minefield and dust Buster seem to be pretty helpful one of the best seven you can use for this class will be um, wrath that increases the damage you deal and it's it's all around a pretty great one because the damage boost is insanely high you can just shred your opponent using this although the cooldown is quite high as well i think 240 seconds so you can probably only use this once in two dues or so if you're encountering one versus ones fried is very helpful and it's insanely good 17 all around and finally youth is one of the best seven scenes or like it just works for almost every class and every situation the bleeding helps this class a lot as well you can use it to replace most of these other things i mentioned even this number two skill you can use filth to replace it the cooldown is 120 seconds but ah, yeah it's it's a lot shorter than wrath it just depends on your preference now for allies there are quite a few allies i'll suggest but there are just mainly two types of allies first are those that increases your critical damage or your regular damage and the second are those that stuns or controls your opponent now for the critical damage boosters definitely eri yusugi is one of them 
Fear passive increases your critical damage by 15%, so she is pretty good. She is one of them, and another one will be any of the Guardian allies, be they a Guardian, Luminous, and stuff. They increase your critical damage. And for regular damage, you have something like College Airy that increases your uh, a passive increases your damage dealt by 2%. Then for control, you have an ally like Captain Luminous that can actually stun and control your opponents, even put their skills on black that they will be unable to use it. Although it's passive, increases your CDR, but hey, CDR isn't useless for this class. It helps in other things. Okay. Now I'm going to explain for your side allies. You want to have allies, of course, like Ming Zulu. Ming Zulu is always helpful. Next is someone like Anjo. Anjo is also very helpful. Trip Zero is one of best support allies uh, ability and ultimate are just insanely helpful and of course everybody wants to have Caesar any type of Caesar you have will be helpful because I believe almost all Caesar if not all Caesar have this EX that increases your hit percent your movement speed your dodge and stuff by a lot of percentage so it is very helpful these are some of the allies I'll suggest for you guys you can slot in the others if you are using a set of ally like the guardian allies then you will want to have guardian luminous as the center or guardian no no as the center because the uh, ammo penetration no no gives is insane and luminous is well I've explained earlier is quite helpful as well now for sets, there are two types I would suggest for this class. I won't suggest you go defensive with this class. So we basically only have the DPS and the control. Now for the DPS, you will want to have six pieces of Phrase Battleship. She increases your attack, just your all-round attack. You will, you will want to have six pieces of this and four pieces of Tyre's Vow for the shield, the immunity shield. Regardless of you going full DPS, you will want to have this as well because the classes in this game are getting crazy and this class in particular can one-shot opponents. I used to be happy that in Raja there is no class that can one-shot you regardless of the rating difference but this class can one-shot you. <laughs> so yeah, you will want to have that that will give you the shield once your health gets um, dangerously low. Now for the control, you will want to have six pieces of Odin's Eye, the one that increases your dexterity and can freeze your opponents. This is for the level 160s and for the level 150s, it's something like Thundering Fury and it's just like that. You can, for the, those below level 150s, you can find yours like Venom for Venom Eye Eye for the level 140s and Venom Eye uh, for the level 130s and Frigga's Key. It's just like that. Just find that. So you want to have six pieces of this and of course four pieces of Tyre's Vow. I believe everybody should have four pieces of this Cheat Death or Shield ability. It is very helpful regardless of what build you are using. Now for Cocoons, I have made a video about this before. You just, if you've watched the video, then go with the DPS route. That is, as long as you have six pieces of this Dragon Arcane that can increase your critical resistance and critical rate, I believe, it's, it's, it's quite helpful. Six pieces of this, you can put in four of whatever ones you have. I like this Dragon or Time Reversal set as well. I don't know, I might make... I might, I might use six pieces of this, but that, that's just me rambling. It's, it's something I'm still thinking of. And I believe that is everything about this class. Now, take note, that there is no exact or perfect build for this class. What I mean by build, I mean talent. Talents vary so much in this class, depending on your playstyle, depending on your dragon, depending on your 7th scene, depending on your EX. There's just so many variables that affect the talent and your build that there is no perfect one. Now, this depends on how you play. You can either decide to start the battle by using this skill and stunning your opponent and then going all ham with the with the red yellow skill or you could just start immediately with the yellow skill and teleport and just start with all this and then use something like minefield you switch back and you keep stunning your opponents with all your skills right so it depends on your play style there are so many play styles so guys please just work on your play style and figure yourself out what you like doing and what you think will do well after all my testing and my trials I think playing against K9, he, when we played Visionaire versus Visionaire, it was a little easier for me to win using this build. I don't think it was this one. I think it was the other one. Yeah, using this build, it was easier for me to win. But when we switched to the Blade Master, is this build was a lot more tough to win with. But when I tried using, I think was it this? No, not this one. I used something like this. One sec. 
yeah i used something like this or was it i think i put this as well it was a lot more difficult for me to win <laughs> even with the bleed and everything it was a lot more difficult without me hiding behind pillars and stuff <laughs> it was a lot difficult and when i tried using this invulnerable I, it was just terrible man i don't know what the heck this does if you understand this please let me know in the comment section but yeah that's basically it for the visionaire class a very very op class ah man it's gonna be quite difficult arena is gonna be a lot more crazy battleground is already chaotic but that's it for the video guys i hope this has helped you don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel for more content if you got any questions comments suggestions or requests you can drop them right down there in the comment section i will respond to you if needed or make a video if necessary as always guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and yeah i will see you in the next one take care guys gonna make it you're not good enough there's a million other people with the same stuff you really think you're different and you must be kidding think you're gonna hit it but you just don't get it it's impossible it's not probable you're responsible too many obstacles you gotta stop it though you gotta take it slow you can't be a pro don't waste your time no